practice getting a little more oompa out of the drums, so yeah. to speak, which which might you know, so that in, any one of us here could like hold the circle by ourselves. I mean, even if there's 150 people here, you could you could play the. technique and, and part of that technique is I just want to kind of work on this on the stroke so that you know uh, I mean this is everywhere you know so that uh, you know in, any one of you all could like if there's 150 people here you, you could hold it down it'd, it'd be loud enough and precise enough that uh, and it wouldn't take five frame drummers I mean not that it's fun to have five frame, frame drummers but well, I'm grateful for seven others in eight hours <laughs> yeah, that was I mean it's, it's, it's fun to all play together oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and then I could miss one and then you could do one <laughs> Hold it like that, then, then you could, rather than having to hold it here, then you could learn to use your other hand down there a little bit. You know, so you might, you might practice it. So, uh, it, it you know, if it gets to be too unwealthy after a while, then you know, just you need to put it underneath here and you can hold it uh, in your hand like that. So let's just warm up for a second. I think we'll, I think this rhythm is called the uh, Ayub. Uh, can't hear the frame drums, right. you know? Yeah. I mean, that's that's the, you can hear your drums. Andrea and I can't hear each other. Right. If we sit across the circle. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, that's one thing I thought, if there's anything we can do to help that along, you know, that might be something that would serve immediately. Yeah. So, so part of that, though, is that typing stroke sound. So try that one more time. Thank you. 
the Glenn Gillespie, you can pivot off of your, you know. But any way you look at it, you should get practiced up with like holding it, you know. So, you know, if you put it on your leg or if you put it like this, that's your pivot. That's all fine and good, but I think it's good to get your muscles used to just hold the drum up, you know. Okay, so fire, fire, here. Just for fun, try this drum. Just do the same thing on that drum. Just want to hear your fire on that one. <laughs> How do I no. strap into this thing? Yeah, there you go. That's it. Good. Okay. I, I thought you had it, but it's just it's that drum just doesn't work. Keep that quite the high pitch sharper sound. Let's hear sure yours. I'm going to turn you just a little bit. Okay. Okay. Have the, the mm -hmm. can you mm -hmm. see through the head that the rim the rim is right there? Yeah. <clears throat> Try to put the fat of your finger right on there just kind of look at it. More more wrist. It's like you're whipping it, yeah. Okay, now, now use two fingers for a second. There you go. Okay. Let's just let's hear yours. You might uh, come up about one inch on it. You, you might bring your finger into it just a little bit more. Flat part. There you go. You did. Let me try just a second. and the whatever of this uh, having five different kinds of drums is that uh, there's no there's no uh, you know each, each drum is going to have its own <coughs> sample you know? I notice if I'm really out on the rim I get a real high okay, a little bit harmonic. that's yeah. yeah whereas if I'm closer in I can, I'm getting more of that yeah. bass you know and uh, I mean his, his may be a little bit more because it's a little better than but these plastic heads are only going to get so much harmonics you know uh -huh. whereas, yeah. you know and even this one if it's all tight too much, <laughs> you know. But that's wow. that's the cool thing about these drums can be really three dimensional. You saw us kind of moving them and stuff. And, and like my greatest experience of music almost was one time when I heard Hans Aldean play and he had like this overtone series that was standing. I mean, you could see it practically standing above his drum. And it's like that, and I couldn't believe it, you know, because it kept being wow. there. And I and I said to Bashi Slater, I said, man, Hans has gotten so good. He said, no, your ears are just better. You <laughs> <laughs> just couldn't hear it before. It was always that good, you know? And so that was very funny. So, okay. And then uh, the uh, the earth sound is up. It's a slap in the center. And there's, and there's harmonics available for that one, too. If you, you know, gotta keep... It's a subtle touch of uh, just a slap, but you can... Uh, draw the sound out. You know, and, and, and I keep my, my hand about like, you know, you want to get too spread out or too tight. I've got just a little, you know, half, half an inch to three quarters of an inch between it. But, you know, the main instruction is just that, use that wrist in the center. Okay, so those are the four sounds. So, so let's just go Let's do 12 beats together, three bars of four of doing water four times, slap four times, fire four times. Okay, just just to kind of re, you know, uh, invigorate our, our technique there again. Okay. <laughs> 